Hey guys, my name is The Russian Badger, and you've got a lot of questions for yourself right now. I know that you're probably asking yourself, why am I using the M16, or why am I playing on Anacama Desert for the third straight gameplay, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And I really don't know how to answer that. Das geht dich einen Dreck an. That's something that I really shouldn't be saying. Along with that gentleman should not be c 4 the objective. But I was thinking about c 4 the objective, and I have mixed views. Is it bad? Is it... Do you guys consider it worse if you C4 UAV compared to if you, if you run up and C4 it just like this gentleman? I think I have different tastes. I mean, I know it's it's not proper conduct either way, but I think it's, it's a little bit more esteemed, if that makes any sense at all, when you actually get to the objective instead of just flying a little remote-controlled helicopter. And although I'm an objective here, and I was really disappointed because a guy flanked around and he got on our mounted gun, and I couldn't take him out with two... 40 millimeter grenades. I have no idea how that happened. You would think that if you get hit with two 40 millimeter grenades, you're gonna die, but I guess not. So we lose A, and my teammates eventually clean them up here, but then they also collapse B. So this first set of objectives was not exactly amazing, in my personal opinion. But coming up here, the rest of this gameplay has just weird moments where the conduct of the opposite team is so peculiar and it's so. It's just blatantly odd. Some of it's asinine, some of it's not. Some of it's intelligent, but it's also... It's unfair. It really does depend on how you look at it, but I'll explain all that just in the near future here. I'm just cleaning up some more of those flankers that got around into the left side of our spawn, and don't... Don't worry. I mean, these guys, and I know you guys in the comments, you've been telling me this about defending. Specifically, I think it's one of my German viewers. I believe he is from Germany. Sehr stören die Stille, which means... Something along the lines of destroy the peace or destroy the... Yeah, still is... Okay. But he said he gets frustrated when the attacking team knows that the defending team is extremely strong and they're extremely organized and they're just going to die if they actually go for the objective so they end up sitting in their spawn and that almost forces you to spawn camp. I had a little bit of an issue with this. But it's not that they were so horribly bad. Obviously, there were guys emerging out of their spawns, so they weren't an awful team to play against. So, really, the extent of my spawn camping was just to get a few kills and run run back to like the back of the next objective. And then here, with these four catfish all sitting in the helicopter, not trying to arm the objective at all, all sitting there trying to get kills only. I laughed so hard. Ich lachte mich tot. It. It was so stupid what they were doing. They were they were flying around, strictly trying to get kills, but then they did not take out the VAD system. So I said, okay, let's do this. Let's go 1, 2, 3. I get the first three, and then I'm going to get one straggler that's running away. Und vier. There's the fourth. And, of course, his name is Agent 47. If you guys don't know who Agent 47 is, he's the main character of that video game series called Hitman. He's bald and he has a bear code. Bear code? What is a bear code? <laughs> Get a double kill here. A bear code. I don't know what a bear code is. Maybe there's like a snake code and a polar bear code. But what I was trying to say there was barcode. But apparently, just pardon my solecism, but I, I can't say barcode correctly. And yet again, classic example here, I get one kill, and then I eventually drop back out of their spawn. Okay, I run all the way back to this rock, way over here. And I pick up another few guys here. I don't know how they didn't snipe me, but... I want to discuss the M16 now. And first of all, this rock, right next to this fire, it obstructs a bit of the view, and that can be quite wonderful. That's gefällt mir. And it's so odd. How using the M16 is is different from every other assault rifle, and what I mean is, you guys know that when I shoot long range with any other other assault rifle, I have that little quick tap with my with my trigger finger. Ugh. Er hatte schnelle fahren müssen. He should have drove faster, or he should have taken a different route. He, I don't know what he was doing, but that's just selfish. I mean, not only did you get yourself killed, you also killed your teammate. Back to the M16, you know with every other assault rifle I have, I have that quick tap going on where I have to tap it just so every time the vertical recoil and the actual recoil resets, I shoot again just to maintain my accuracy. It's like that single shot. I don't usually burst with other assault rifles. I usually do that little single shot. Especially you guys have probably seen, it, seen me do it with the XM8 and so on. I, I've done it with the M416. 
and it's just that little quick rapid trigger movement so that you can get more accurate shots by waiting for the actual reticle and the recoil to reset before you fire your next shot so that every single shot is as accurate as possible and I had to change that up and I've improved my accuracy since this video that's one thing that you might notice my accuracy is not always on and obviously I'm getting a few kills stolen by the helicopter but if we're defending I really am not concerned with anyone killing killing the the guys that I barely clipped or me getting assists that's really not a huge concern of mine as long as they die it's all the same to me and so it's a little odd changing the M16 from any, using any other assault rifle and LMG because you guys know that I've been using the LMGs quite frequently recently and one thing that I've noticed is that the reticle might actually reset but you're gonna wanna just take a breather as I I did the Macarena with this guy I don't know why I had to like whip my body around to the inside of his face to knife him but somehow DICE thought that would be the most effective method but regarding the M16 you have to wait for the actual just I describe it this way take a half second breath. I don't know if you can take a breath that spans half a second, but as soon as you take that first burst and subsequent burst, just take a half little half second breath in between bursts and you'll notice you're a lot more accurate. Although the reticle is I feel as if although the reticle is exactly on and see here's a classic example. Although the reticle still may be exactly where you want your target to hit, it's still gonna have a little bit of spread and it's not gonna be exactly where you want it if you keep pulling it really quickly and virtually make it essentially fully automatic although it's a burst rifle you can make it virtually fully automatic if you have a trigger finger that's quick enough but really what I want you to extract from this is just take that extra half second let the recoil come to a stop make sure your reticle is not shaking and then shoot again and you'll be much more accurate you'll kill a lot quicker and See, it's not a prime example here, but since this video, I've definitely improved, and I'm going to have subsequent M16 videos. For some reason, whenever I started using it, I just had three straight gameplays in a row. I don't specifically think it's the rifle. It could be who I was playing against and so forth, but for some reason. And I still don't regard my M16. I say my M16. I should refer to it as the M16. It's my favorite assault rifle. I would definitely put that under... Probably the XM8. I know that you guys, I don't know, I mean, I know the few of you that watched me really, really early in my career, I used the Avacon just religiously before I even knew it was overpowered. And I always, I always sort of had that feeling like, okay, why am I always killing them and why are they never killing me when it's one on one? But I don't want to discuss the Avacon being overpowered or I won't even, for those of you that don't think it's overpowered, just the best of the assault rifles. I definitely reserve, and there's a little pistol action, I definitely reserve my favorite assault rifle for the XM8. Just the way it looks, the way it handles, the bullet damage, all of that. And for some reason I thought this specific clip was nifty because I decided to use, I picked up an engineer kit and I, I played a different role by destroying a tank or helping destroying a tank. I, I got it down to a sliver and somebody else got it, but I thought that was clever for some reason. Here, here again. I wasn't exactly taking my half breath in between shots there. Maybe I just wasn't leading him enough, but just the way you shoot this rifle can really dictate whether you like it or not. And there's a perfect example. If you if you really aim, I like to aim for the kneecaps, and I'm not trying to get some kind of nifty kill like, oh, your kneecaps are gone, bro. And I have a friend that says that whenever he plays Modern Warfare 2, a game that I don't play, but he always takes pride in shooting people in the kneecaps for some reason. I skimmed the top of that guy's head. He thought he could just lurk there and think that I wouldn't see him, but of course I would see him. And here is a stereotypical textbook. I shot at a ghost there. I don't know what I was shooting at. Rambo Revive. Look, and I've also learned, I think you guys have seen, I oftentimes am just so prepared to shoot everyone that somebody will get revived and I'll drain half my clip into them, but they'll be, and I skim that guy's face as he tries to get back in the cover, but you guys know that I've had frustrations in the past, especially with shotguns, of shooting somebody that's been revived and they're invincible for that half second. So really, whenever you want to do that, and whenever you want to shoot somebody that's... There's another C4 whore. Whenever you want to shoot somebody that has just been revived, yet again, take that little second, that second or two, and don't shoot at them. Save your ammo, and then shoot once that little 
span of invincibility is worn off. And I'd, I'd ran a, around the corner here like a total Carl for some reason with my M203 out, and he kills me. I don't even know what his name was. I'm unconcerned. But fear not, my children. I just said, I don't think I like broccoli, catfish. And he responded with nothing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out his pal here, and then I'm going to take out the 45 and take out him. So that's what you get. I don't think I like broccoli. And I could explain that reference if you guys really want me to, but I'm just going to leave it at, I don't think I like broccoli. My best friend knows what I'm talking about. And if you've seen that PediaSure commercial, you know what I'm talking about as well, but... It's just another, it's synonymous with no in my particular own unique vocabulary and or dictionary. Just, I don't think I like broccoli. It's a long story. I'll explain it to you if you really want to know, but this gameplay is winding down here. It was a final set of objectives, and the guys got pretty desperate. They were just running up a C4. They're not going to penetrate these defenses. Number one, I had a killer squad. I think I had Demad Killer, Solomon27, and can't remember the last guy's name, but then I also had other subscribers and other viewers that joined the game. That happens quite frequently. They'll join my team. They won't be in my squad, but for some reason, my viewers are just so amazingly proficient at this game. They can just, as one of my viewers told me, that they rape face. I never thought that I would ever say that phrase, rape face, but I guess that's the phrase that describes the viewers that play alongside me on PlayStation Network. There's your final score. Das ist nicht genug für mich. Ich werde nie satt und ich bin nie zufrieden. Aber I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna have an M16, another M16 gameplay for you next time. But I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I will see you guys later. Auf Wiedersehen.